right, the first thing that you guys are gonna do is go down here into search and type in services. Then select services. All right, once the service window is open, you guys are gonna wanna scroll down until you find connected user experiences and telemetry, okay? What this does is spy on you, you guys. That's all it's going to do is run malware in the background that slows down your computer and spies on you. So what we're gonna do is we're going to double click that and then we're going to select disabled on startup type. And then we're gonna stop the service from running. And then we're gonna click apply. And then we're gonna click okay. All right, once you're done with that, what you're gonna do is scroll down until you find sys main. What this does, you guys, is over time, your Windows learns like an AI what programs that you're running and it will load the software for you in the background. So when you click on it, it seems like it's loading faster. You guys don't want this running. It slows down your processor quite a bit. So what you're going to do is you're gonna double click it and then you're gonna go to startup type and you're gonna select disabled and then you're gonna click stop and then you're gonna click apply and then click okay. All right, next you guys are gonna want to right click on anywhere on the desktop and then select display settings. Once you're on display settings, go ahead and click on power and sleep over here to the left. And then over here on the right, click on additional power settings. Once you're on this screen, what you're gonna wanna do is create a power plan. Once you're on the create a power plan window, go ahead and select high performance. Then give your plan a name. Then select next. On this screen, you're gonna select when you want your display to turn off and when you want your computer to go to sleep. I use this computer all day long and I don't want it ever going to sleep. So I select never. When you're done, click create and then select your plan. Then go ahead and close out both windows. All right, next you guys are gonna go down into the search and type in update and select check for updates. On this next screen, either your windows is going to start checking for updates automatically or you're gonna have to select check for updates. When it's done, go ahead and select install now if you have any updates. When you're done, if you are prompt to restart your computer, go ahead and select restart computer at this time. All right, once your computer is done restarting, go ahead and go back down into the search and type in update. Go ahead and click on check for updates. If you've got the green check mark and it says you're up to date, you are good to go. There's one last thing that you guys can change in order to help your computer run a little bit faster. Under advanced options, you're able to actually pause the updates what your computer does every time you turn on your PC, it actually runs an update check in the background and slows down the process of your startup. What I like to do is I like to update my computer on the weekend because I'm really busy during the week, so I don't want those processes running during the week. So every Saturday morning, I like to run my updates. So I just select Saturday morning, and then when I go back, you'll see that it says updates are paused and it tells me exactly when it's going to resume the date that I selected. You guys are good to go. Well, that's it, you guys. It's as easy as that to fix your 100% disk usage issue that you're having on your PC or laptop. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. If it helped you out, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Remember, you guys, do not be toxic. Spread positivity. We'll see you next time.